All right, so for today, we're going to be doing questions 84 to 91. We're going to be talking about the rule. We're going to be describing the rules here, okay? So I'm going to give you guys the, the original picture, and I'm going to give you the, the picture after the transformation, and I need you guys to give me the rule, okay? First of all, I'm going to be using the rules on question 51. It's a reminder how those rules look like. Uh, just go back to question 51 and you guys will see them there, right? I'm going to be using those rules. We've been using those for a few while now. Now, the original picture on our pit, on our paper and on our screen, we can see it. The original picture is going to be black and the picture after the transformation is blue. Now, sometimes if this was printed and you have a color printer, you will see the images as black and black, right? They will both come out in black. The way we're going to know like say if this is printed, that way we're gonna know which one is first. Take a look at the letters. The letters are just regular letters, right? E, F, D, G, right? Just regular letters. The second one, notice how each letter has a little apostrophe, which we call prime. E prime, D prime, F prime, G prime. So that's how we know which one came first. The one that has the regular letters, that's just as the first one. And then the other one, the one with the prime is the second one. So now here we're gonna write a rule to describe each transformation. Okay, so let me follow a point. One thing I want us to do when you guys choose a point is make sure one of the coordinates of your point is not zero. So when I look at the point F, the, the coordinates of F are negative one, zero. I'm gonna say F is not a good point. And the reason why is because when you have a zero as a value, you don't know if the zero changes signs or not. Another thing you don't want to have, so just let me just say it, so negative one zero is not a good point. And the reason is because of the zero. Like I said, if you don't know if the zero is going to switch signs or not, because there's no such thing as a negative zero. Another case that is not good is when the x and the y value are the same number. As an example, three, three, because you don't know if my numbers flip or not. So that's not a good point to follow. Let me follow my point G. The coordinates of G are negative one, negative two. I don't have a zero and my numbers are not the same, right? One of them is a one and the other one's a two. I'm ignoring the signs for a moment but I'm just looking at, all right, one of them is a one, the other one's a two. So that's good to follow. Let me take a look at G prime. Coordinates of G prime are two, one. All right, so I wanna see actually what happened. It seems like my X and my Y flip numbers. So Y, X, right, they flip. And then I'm wondering, did any of them switch signs? Yeah, the one, the one the number that was X to begin with, the so negative one. Yeah, that one switched from negative to a positive. And then the two also switched from negative to positive. You see my rules on question 51, the one that tells me that X wide becomes negative Y, negative X. And that is going to be reflection across y equals negative x. Now, one thing on reflection, it's pretty cool. One thing on reflection, since this is reflection, if I look at f and f prime and I find a point in the middle, it's right there. If I look at G and G prime, and I was to say, let me mark the center, and I look at E and E prime, and I said, I want to do a point in the middle, and the same thing with these, my points are going to be collinear. What that means is that they're going to make a line. That line, that's the mirror line. Notice how that's the line y equals negative x. So that's why, that's another way I can do reflection. Now let's take a look at question 85. 
Now, I don't think this is going to be reflection, and I'm going to show you guys why not. If I was to look at Vs, and I said, all right, the point in the center between V and V prime is right there, and the Us is right there, the Ws and the Xs, at the same point, I cannot make a line with just one point. So yeah, it didn't quite work. Now, I know it's not reflection. So let me follow a point. The coordinates of U are not good. And let me show you guys why it's not good. If I look at U, the coordinates of U are 3, negative 3. How would I know if my numbers flip, right? If the X becomes Y and the Y becomes X, right? The number repeats, so it's not good. Let me just follow the point W. We can follow any point. The, four, the coordinates of W are 4, 1. None of my numbers is 0, and my values are not the same, right? 4 and 1 is not the same number. Then let me follow, let me take a look at W prime. The coordinates of W prime are negative 4, negative 1. So when I'm asking what happened, first of all, the X and the Y did not switch signs. They did not switch sides. They were not flipped, right? Four is the first number and one is the second number. The only thing is that the four switched signs and the Y did. So I'm looking at my formula, my notes, question 51. And I'm looking for the one that says X, Y becomes negative X, negative Y. And that's going to tell me rotation of 180. Again, I'm looking at the notes in question 51. All right, let's take a look at number 86. I'm going to say just from the get-go, I can tell this is dilation. We can tell. Remember, dilation is when something gets bigger or smaller. So I can already tell this is dilation. And as a matter of fact, the scale factor, my number, has to be more than one. I can tell my image got bigger. All right, let's, let's see. So I'm going to get the coordinates of J. The coordinates of J are 2, 1. Let me get the coordinates of J prime. All right, when it comes to the x value is 3, so that's good. When it comes to y value is 1.5. All right, so I can tell my number switch, right? The numbers are different. Now, here, I got to see, all right, this is dilation. The way I'm going to find out what's my scale factor, I'm either going to use the x or the y values. However, I'm going to do the number from the prime divided by the original number. So if I'm looking at the x values, let me go 3 divided by 2. And my answer would be as a decimal, right? So I'm going to say dilation of 1.5. If I had used the y values, it would have been easier. 1.5 divided by 1, 1 1.5. I said, use the X values or the Y values, but you're gonna start from the number from the prime. Notice I went three divided by two. I didn't go two divided by three. I started from the number from the prime. If you use the Y values, 1.5 divided by one. All right. Now let me take a look at question number 87. I'm gonna follow a point. My coordinates of U are Negative one five. The coordinates of U prime are one negative three. All right, so I had a five in the U and I don't have a five in the prime. I have a three. Number switch. So from that, the notes, question number 51. It gives me special cases for reflection or rotation. So I know it's not reflection. I know it's not rotation. I'm going to say it's not dilation because it got bigger. So it, um, it seems like it was translation. 
Now translation. So let me give myself some space over here. Again, for u prime was one negative three. For translation, we're gonna add a number. We're gonna add a number to the x to make it uh, the, what it comes on the prime number. So looking at the x value from negative one to make it one, shouldn't I add two? Right, negative one plus two gives me one. All right, so it seems like I have to add two to the x. For five to become a negative three, shouldn't I subtract eight? And I double check five minus eight, it's negative three, yep. So it seems like this image got moved two to the right and a down. All right, if I follow my point V, because I was following U, if I follow my point V, yeah, it looks like two to the right, A down. My point T, yeah, it looks like two to the right, A down. So yeah, it did follow everything. So this is gonna be translation. Then I'm gonna write X plus two or two units to the right, Y minus eight or eight units down. All right, for today, I'm gonna to be working up until 91. So let's take a look at question 88. I'm not gonna follow point E because four and four, I don't know if the numbers switch sides, switch numbers. And then I'm not gonna follow F because he has a zero and I don't know if the zero switches signs or not. So I'm gonna follow the point G. Right, I see G and G prime. First of all, I ask myself, did the number switch? Like the X become Y and the Y become X. And no, they did not. So I'm just gonna write X and Y. Then I ask myself, did the X switch value? So that the, the negative four, it became positive four. So yeah, the X switch value. Did the Y switch values, right? It was positive two on G. It's a negative two on G prime, so yeah. It did switch values. I take a look of my other points just to make sure that that is what happened. I just switched the signs on the X and the Y. It works on E and it works on F. Now, according to my notes, remember uh, I referred to question 51 on our notes. I'm looking for the one that says X, Y becomes negative X, negative Y. According to our notes, that's rotation of 180. So that's rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. All right, let's take a look at question number 89. W is not a good point because it has a zero. So I don't know if the zero changes or not. So let me follow point X. I see is one, two, 1 1.5 and three. All right, numbers change. Like there was a one, it became 1 1.5. I had two and it became three. So with that, I'm gonna say it's not rotation, it's not reflection. It could either be dilation or it could be translation. I think it is dilation, let me check. Now, the way I'm gonna find out, let me see, I'm gonna say dilation of, the way I'm gonna find out, let me divide either the X values or the Y values if I choose the Y values, I'm going to go 3 divided by 2. Right, 3 divided by 2. I know 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So we'll say 1.5. Now, let me take a look. Negative 1 times 1.5. I'm looking at my W prime. Yeah, it works. 0 times 1.5. I'm checking if each number I multiply by 1.5. On my X value, they work. On my Y value, they work as well. So yeah, it was dilation of 1.5. When the nut, when the value switched, like a two became a three, it's either dilation or translation. Let's take a look at question number 90. Let me follow my point E. All right, the numbers are one and two. 
right? It might switch places, it might switch signs, but the numbers don't change. It's just the numbers one and two. So first thing I ask myself is, did the numbers flip? Like did the X become a Y and the Y becomes X? And yeah, they did. And then I asked, did any of them switch signs? The one became a negative one. So the, the X value did switch. Did the Y value switch signs? Yep. So I'm looking for my nodes, the one that says X, Y becomes negative Y, negative X. And in this case, it's reflection. across y equals negative x. I notice that I take a look at all my points. Did that same thing happen? Let's take a look. Did the same thing happen on f? I don't think so, okay. So in this case, this is not it. Don't always think that just because it worked on one point, it has to work on all of them. Always double check. So I came in, I, I wrote this, and I'm like, mm, it works. I double check. No, it doesn't work. Okay. So it's not rotation, it's not reflection. It must be dilation or it must be translation. Now, one thing, let me check. In order for this to be translation, I must probably have had to add something. Following point E, in order for 1 to become 2, I have to add 1 to X. I quickly take a glance at all my X's. 0 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1. Yeah, it works. Now for the Y, in order for negative two to become a negative one, I have to add one as well. And I double check, zero plus one, zero plus one, negative three plus one. Okay, so it works. So this is gonna be translation X plus one, because I added X, I added one to each X or one unit to the right and then y plus one, and that means one unit up. So I did translation, always double check, right? We, we thought it was something else. We thought it was a reflection, but we take a look. That's the work in all the points. Now let's take a look at question number 91. X, Y, I'm gonna follow my point S. And for some reason, S prime is way over here. First thing I'm going to do is, did my numbers flip? Like the X become a Y. And I know I see a two first, and then I see a one first later. So I'm going to say, no. Then I see, did the X switch signs? Yeah, that one switch. Did the Y switch signs? No, they did not. Quickly take a look. Is that the same thing that happened in all of them? Just switch the sign on the X. Yeah, that is what happened. So I'm looking at my notes. X, Y becomes negative X, Y. Now that is reflection across the Y axis. So reflection across the Y axis. Use question 51 from our notes. Let me zoom out. On the first four questions, 84 through 87, you had to get the coordinates. On the last four, 88 to 91, I gave you the coordinates. But double check that it works on all the points. 